Hello, viewers. Welcome to this part four. We're going to explain what is high ticket closing. If you've not watched the other few videos on the basics of what it is and some of my experiences that I've had doing it, not doing inbound, of course, which would be the right gig. Um, now, this is what we're going to talk about. A special topic. Have you had the regret of not taking any action? Let's say there is a course that you want to join. Maybe it is about high ticket closing. Maybe it is about sales. It's one of Dan Locke's other programs and you, you looked at it and you thought, wow, this seems good or joining HTC. And then you see the price and you're like, what the fuck? It's too expensive. I can't afford that. Oh man, I'm going to have to take out a big ass loan to afford it now. What am I going to do? I don't want to go in debt. Oh, oh, I don't know if I'm going to take a risk here. What are my parents going to say to me? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to say to me, but oh, I'm not sure. I have to do this. Oh, maybe not. Uh and imagine the prospect would go to work on, uh, or maybe yourself would go to work on one day and would be like, Oh man, my job sucks. I gotta do six days a week. I gotta do some late shifts. I gotta do some morning shifts. And there's no way to cover me. And then he realizes... I need a way out of this. Right, I'm quitting my job and I'm joining. I don't care, I'm gonna take out a big ass loan and I'm gonna fuck off out of my job. So then, he then said to the boss, Well, fuck you boss, I don't wanna work here no more. Bye bye. <laughs> I do not recommend saying that unless you do have a situation that is uh, extremely bad, that you have to get out, otherwise, <laughs> that's what will happen. So, without further ado, what, what are those regrets that you keep having in your mind about when you haven't taken action? If, let's say, you've been in a course, like a sales course, or you were in Dan Locke's high ticket program, and uh, it didn't work out for you, or... You didn't turn up to that live class, or maybe maybe your HTC brother and your success was much, much slower, and you then think, why was it? Or have you been in a program that could be like almost similar to what Dan's teaching, and everyone's getting results, then you're not getting results, and you start wondering, why am I not getting results? Hey, wait a minute. I can see that everybody's made a few bits of money. I ain't made nothing. Man, I'm going to quit now. <coughs> Pardon me. It's got a bit of a cough. <laughs> Trying to do all the sort of vocal legwork with my voice here. Um, all right. So let's pretend that you haven't taken action. And then there's that regret. It seeps in 10, 20, 30 or maybe, well, let's say another 20 or 30 years, maybe a 60 or 50, so another 40 years from when you, let's say you were 20 years old and you didn't take any action on a specific program that could help you to achieve a financial goal and get out of your job. I tell you what, I tell you what, I admit that for me, um, in my example is, you know, one time I was dating um, a single mom, and we had three dates. You know, I was not so confident. I was one of those guys asking my friends, and look where that got me. Fucking nowhere. <laughs> so I didn't quite get their advice. <laughs> Be yourself. Do this, do that. Give her space. I'm like thinking, you know, how do I get off that fourth date? And, uh, you know, I was thinking, um, I kind of wish 
HTC was around. You know, it was it was actually around when I was maybe 23. I just dropped something. Anyway, let me explain. I mean, you know, I kind of wish HTC was around like when I was 23 is what I was saying is because hey if it was around when I was 23 then who knows by now I think I'd be fucking wealthy <laughs> yeah I think I would be with a little bit more money but hey at least I found it when I was like 29 and 28 and now I'm 30 so for me um, if I never took it there would be more and more regret coming in like a about a few years later you know just stuck in the same old place same old job same old thing doing the same old shit uh it's actually i may be in the same job but at least i'm actually taking some action which i can be grateful for that i'm with see through i'm with all the guys and uh yeah, it's, it's a great experience. I am grateful for the struggles that I actually had in the in the market as well. So, I mean, if I didn't go for all these influencers, hey, you know, I'd probably have some regret right now, you know. Uh, sometimes even I have regret about, uh, like, certain interviews that didn't really go quite right. But, you know, sometimes life is too short to regret. Because if you if you stick in regret with failure for too long, then what can happen is that sometimes if you're a high ticket closer, that can fuck up your ability in a big time way that maybe you won't even close a sale for a very long time. Just thinking, uh, why did I fail on the last call? Why why did the the sign up form just have technical difficulties? You know, what could I have done to make it a bit better? What could I have, what could I have done in the call to bring the prospect to be sold or to want to buy that kind of thing? You know, I've had those regrets, and I think it's pointless having regrets when at least I took action to make that happen. And you know, and I know that I was nearly out because often you do hear everybody in HTC. We all tend to say something like. You are closer than you think. See? You are closer than you think, brother. You are well close. You are just an inch off. Just a bit more training. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite, a, a, quite an international family there. You got from different countries, many countries, about, I think it must be 180 countries or 140 countries. I don't know. The, uh... The amount of countries that are of and people the amount of people from different countries should I say uh wanting to learn from Dan Locke is huge, so it is your choice whether you want to be part of this movement or you don't want to be part of it, but let's pretend you don't join. Is it worth the regret another few years later? Because, I mean, you know, if you want to join another program, whether it's Dan Locke's, Grant Cardone's program, then, you know, what, what are you waiting for? Or any program, for that matter. And if you don't join Dan Locke's program, then whose program are you going to join? And let's pretend those programs don't work. How much regret will you have? Hmm. And let's pretend you did join Dan Locke's program and you didn't implement any of it, then what's going to happen? You'd then still be a loser. So you'd then find yourself in a place slightly like myself. So remember, when you join any program, you can make it work. It is your responsibility. If you put the money down and you say, I want in, then that's your responsibility to make it work. And uh, on another note, do not procrastinate. Bye-bye. I'll see you for the next video.